Classic mini consoles are a fantastic yet very disturbing thing in gaming. It may be a cash grab on nostalgia, but they are an affordable way for me to play games from when I was younger. It goes without saying that most of all mini or classic consoles are not the greatest, but a lot of them serve the purpose quite nicely. However, it would be great if they made enough of them to go around on launch instead of only producing a limited number. Despite being born in 1990, the Nintendo Entertainment System was the first console experience I remember offhand. I remember my mom and dad coming home, and there it was. What was to my knowledge the greatest thing in gaming with a bunch of games. I was in kindergarten at the time and living in the same town I live in now. The system, despite being outdated due to the arrival of the Super Nintendo in 1991, was the shit, for lack of a better word. My little brain could not handle all the games and what the limited power could do. Something else that made the system stick out in my memory was the fact it was the first console that my grandfather and I played. Well, he played as I preferred to watch and beat Super Mario Bros and DuckTales. Young me would not know the semi-casual journey that the system would take me on years later or the more profound impact it had on others, how it shaped them, gave them purpose, and for some even gave them a reason to live. Thank whatever higher power had Nintendo stopped making playing cards and move into the console market. It's not the first pre-release of classic games given the virtual console and re-releases done by all major game companies at the time. The mass hysteria was on par with major releases of the day like the Switch. Though in our collect and preserve everything for profit culture, I would like to ensure Nintendo at this time that mine is out of box and being played. Despite not being my first mini console, the NES Classic gave me a lot of good memories from growing up and going to my grandparents as a young boy for the weekend. The list of 30 games is going to be missing something to someone. It will never be complete or definitive, even if all companies could get along to make the best product at a good price. But there are some gems that will always take me back, and no matter how good I claim to be at Call of Duty, will remind me of where my skills are as a gamer. Mario was the biggest title on the mini for me. It was simple, and frankly, that's all it needed to be, was simple. I remember playing it with my grandfather as a kid, my brother plays it now, I play it now, and hopefully my grandfather still plays it to this day since we got him a copy of the NES Classic for Christmas. Anything else in that list of 30 would just be a list of games that I have not been at the moment of writing this, but these games hold a special place in my heart. Nonetheless, and I am sure that with my current social circle, I will work my way through them and many more classic titles on both the minis and the classic hardware. Castlevania 1 and 2, Final Fantasy, Mega Man 2, The Legend of Zelda, and Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link will always hold a place in my heart, even if I can't say I've beaten them. All in all, the mini consoles are actually quite fantastic. I just wish they made a little more and some companies put a little better care into theirs. I have fun with mine, hopefully you have fun with yours.